Qcells just released their third generation energy storage system. Now that's on top of over two and a half billion dollars already invested in US solar manufacturing. Their Enfin financing company just introduced no dealer fee solar loans and TPO leases. Will Qcells own the entire solar ecosystem in 2026? I'm gonna be answering that question and giving you my take on where I think the industry's going in today's video. The smarter way to go solar. All right, now in today's video, we're answering the question, will Qcells own the entire solar ecosystem uh, in 2026? Now, for those of you who've been following the channel for a while, you know that one of the trends that we've seen emerging over the past one to two years uh, is what I like to call convergence, or, or basically the idea that all of your major solar system components are gonna be coming from a single provider. Uh, and we've seen a number of the leading solar brands introduce uh, all-in-one type solutions. Uh, companies like Enphase uh, and of course Point Guard, Sig Energy, uh, to name a few. But basically the idea is that you're gonna get all of your major system components from a single provider, that being your solar inverter, your energy storage system, your battery, uh, and in many cases that's gonna include some kind of intelligent load control uh, and app control as well. Uh, you know, and the nice thing about that is that compared to the older systems where you're, you're mixing and matching components, when you get all of your major system components from a single provider and they're all communicating on the same software platform, you don't have any of these issues with communications. And overall, it just leads to a much more seamless and consistent user experience. But of course, Qcells is taking this a step farther. Uh, of course, Qcells is probably best known as being the U.S. number one solar panel manufacturer. They do have two facilities in Georgia where solar panels are being manufactured. Uh, of course, I got a chance to, to tour their facility in Dalton, Georgia, uh, and they're building a second facility in Cartersville where they're going to do literally the entire solar, solar module process from manufacturing solar ingots, turning those into solar wafers, solar cells, and then finished solar modules uh, all under one roof. But now, of course, Qcells is in the inverter and energy storage segment as well. Uh, in fact, I'm told that by April of 2026, uh, Qcells is going to have fully domestic content compliant manufacturing or, or final assembly of their battery energy storage system. But of course, they've gone even further than that getting into other areas in the solar ecosystem, uh, particularly solar financing. Now, I know I've been pretty critical of solar finance companies over the past couple of months, uh, and we have seen a number of high-profile business failures in the solar financing space. Uh, and of course, one of the reasons for that is this issue of dealer fees. Now, dealer fees are fees that financing companies charge to solar installers, and solar installers pass those fees along to homeowners in the form of a higher installation price. Uh, but oftentimes these fees are not disclosed. So the homeowner may look at a solar proposal and they think they're just looking at parts and labor, not realizing the price of everything has been inflated to cover that extra cost of the dealer fee. But I'm happy to report as of about a week ago, uh, Enfin, which is Qcell's financing, uh, solar financing partner, uh, has rolled out a no dealer fee solar loan option. Uh, and of course, they still have some excellent options as far as third-party ownership or, or solar leases as well. And then Qcells even participates in the software side of the industry. Uh, they acquired a company called Jelly about three years ago, which does commercial energy management. Now, this is particularly interesting because in the past couple of years, we've seen a number of high-profile solar business failures, whether we're talking about manufacturing companies, uh, installation companies, uh, or the solar financing companies that we mentioned earlier. Uh, just to name a few, you know, Sonova went bankrupt in the last year. Of course, Mosaic Solar Financing went bankrupt in the last year. And so there's a lot of concern in the industry right now of, of which of these large companies are really going to be here to last, and which of these companies can I confidently partner with. Let's say if I'm a, I'm a local or a regional solar installer, which of these companies is going to be around and which can I, can I bet the reputation of my business with that they're going to be a reliable partner long term. And that's where I think, you know, the financial strength of Qcells and their parent company Hanwha, you know, really comes into play. As I mentioned, they've already made a two and a half billion dollar investment in US manufacturing. And they're one of the few companies out there in the industry that has the financial wherewithal and foundation to be able to weather the storm. And of course, when I, when I talk about weather the storm, you know, some of the, some of the issues we've seen here in the US market just recently are the impact of tariffs 
Of course, with, with Q-cells being a US manufactured product, the, the impact of tariffs is certainly not gonna be as high. Uh, but also we, we've seen changes in uh, solar policy, particularly the loss of the 30% residential solar tax credit uh, at the end of this year, at the end of 2025. And so for many of you out there who are solar installers or potential solar system owners, you know, one question you certainly have to ask yourself is, you know, which company do I have the most confidence in, not just to get me the, my system today on day one, but to be the most reliable partner long term over the entire 25 or 30 year life of the system. Now, will we see Q-cells buy into other areas of the solar ecosystem? perhaps in the design software, or perhaps in offering third-party warranties. I know that that's gonna be a big one coming up in the near future here, as more and more of these large solar installers have gone out of business. There are, there are homeowners that have existing abandoned solar systems that are gonna need some sort of warranty service and support going forward. But time will tell. What I can say though is that QCells has demonstrated a commitment to, to investing in and owning a larger and larger part uh, of, of different components that make up the solar ecosystem. So when we talk about an all-in-one provider or all under one roof, with Q-cells, we're not just talking about the inverter, the batteries, and, and the app control. We're literally talking about several of the other components and participants uh, in that solar ecosystem, including how you finance it, potentially how you design it, and potentially how you warrant it or keep that system healthy long term. By the way, folks, as I'm recording this now, this is probably the best time to go solar. Um, if you're looking to, to go solar and have the investment really pay for itself, meaning that you can maximize the tax credit uh, and take advantage of pre-tariff pricing, then now really is the best time uh, to get the process started for your solar installation. Uh, so as always, if, if you're in that process right now, if you need to get a price quote for having a solar system installed, uh, or maybe you already have a price quote and you need to get a comparison to make sure that you're getting the best deal and getting the right equipment, as always, you can feel free to reach out to us on the link below here, set up a call with a solar surge expert, uh, or just use the free online calculator so you can see how much solar and battery storage costs in your area. Of course, if you're getting good value from the videos that you see here on solar surge, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Uh, also, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new videos like this coming out, it'll come up on your feed and you can stay up to date with everything. But that does it for today's video. I thank you all for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.